guys welcome to my channel in this video let us discuss about important short answer questions of chapter 4 motion in plane in the the first question comes to be state parallelogram law of vectors derive an expression for magnitude and direction of resultant vector First, let us write down the statement. Now, I consider the parallelogram O, B, C, A. Now, if we consider these two sides, that is O, A, O, B, as two vectors, okay? If we consider two sides of a parallelogram as two vectors, then O, C, the diagonal passing through them where the point is meeting the diagonal passing through them represents their resultant in magnitude and direction if two vectors acts as two adjacent sides of parallelogram drawn from a point then their resultant is the diagonal passing through the same point okay now i considered a parallelogram o b c a now, let the length of OA is P. Length of OB is Q. Now, opposite sides will be of same length in parallelogram. So, OA equal to OBC equal to P. OB equal to AC is equal to Q. And this diagonal length which, we, which represents the resultant of these two vectors that is OC is equal to R. Now here we have to find the magnitude R itself only. Okay. For that we extend OA. It becomes OD up to D. Then draw a perpendicular from C as CD. Now, here the angle OCD is alpha and CAD is theta. Okay. So, first let us consider triangle OCD. Now, here I am drawing separately. So, if you draw separately, it will be very easy and you will understand very easily o c d now i am using pythagoras theorem so what is pythagoras theorem o c square is equal to o d square plus cd square right now see here od what we can write oa plus ad no straight line no here you see now again you just it will be very easy if you go on drawing the diagrams in such a way compulsory you have to learn this most and most important short answer question here a is present now, OD straight line. Here A is there. How we will write OD? OA plus AD. So, OC square is equal to in place of OD. OA plus AD square is there. Whole square plus. As usual, write down this. CD square. Clear? Now, we are having the formula now. Use. A plus B whole square. What is this formula? A square plus 2AB plus B square. No. Now in place of A, OA is there. In place of B, AD is there. So how we will write? OC square is equal to in place of A, OA square plus 2. What is A? OA. What is B? A D. Okay. Plus B square. What is B? A D square. Plus 
This one is there, no? Write down. Don't forget to write that. Maximum students will do mistake. What mistake they will do means they will write this. And they will forget to include that. And just they will not get the answer. So, carefully prepare and write. Now, see this square. Now, next, put it as equation 1. Now, from this diagram, this is the main diagram. Let us consider this triangle CAD. Here is angle theta. Here, this is alpha. <coughs> triangle CAD. Here, right? Now, cos theta. Okay? Cos theta. What is the formula for cos theta? Adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, this is theta. This becomes opposite side. So, this becomes adjacent side. So, that is cos theta equal to AD by what is now? This becomes hypotenuse AC. So, from that AD can be written as AC cos theta cross multiplication. I sent AC to this side. Now, put it as equation 2. Alright. Now, next to the same triangle, apply Pythagoras, apply Pythagoras law or theorem. So, AC square will be equal to AD square plus CD square. Put it as equation 3. Okay, now observe equation 1. AD square plus CD square is there. Here also AD square plus CD square. In this place of AD square plus CD square, can I substitute AC square? Yes, I can substitute AC square. In place of AD square plus CD square, I am substituting AC square. And see here, AD is present. What you got AD as AC cos theta. So, in place of AD, I am substituting AC cos theta. In place of AD plus CD square, I am substituting AC square. So, now, now, put 2 and 3 in 1. Okay, put 2 and 3 in 1. So, what is 1? OC square is equal to OA square. First, I am writing equation 1 because I turned the page, no? So, first I am writing the equation 1. Then I will substitute. Okay? First, I am writing equation 1. Now, I am substituting OC square equal to these are vectors, no compulsory. You have to place arrow mark on this. Okay. 2 OA in place of AD. I am substituting AC cos theta. Plus in place of AD square plus CD square. I am substituting AC square. Alright. Now, see this diagram. What is OA? P. Now, what is AC? Q. What is OC? R. I am substituting all these values here. I will get my magnitude. Alright, I completed my magnitude. So, OC R square. OA P square. 2 o, o A means P. A C means Q. Cos theta. Plus Q square. So, my magnitude of two vectors is R. Equal to, I am sending this root to this side. P square plus 2 P Q cos theta plus Q square. 
सो वी गॉट अवर मैग्नीट्यूड नेक्स्ट इन क्वेश्चन वॉट ही आस्ट ही आस्ट टू फाइंड द डायरेक्शन ऑल्सो नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर डायरेक्शन फाइंडिंग द डायरेक्शन सो फॉर दैट अगेन आई एम ड्राइंग द डायग्राम हियर सो दैट इट विल बी यूजफुल फॉर यू फर्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग ट्रायंगल ओ सी डी ओके From this triangle, I'm writing tan alpha. What is the formula for tan theta? Opposite side by adjacent side. Now this is the angle. This is opposite side. This is adjacent side. So tan alpha opposite side CD and adjacent side OD. Now next here, what is there? Ye yeah, no. So OD can be written as CD by OA plus AD, right? Now already we derived AD, no? In equation two, I'm substituting that only. What is AD? AC cos theta. Now, what is the unknown value CD? For that, again, I am considering this small triangle CAD. Here, this is theta. All right, clear. Hope you are understanding. Is a mathematical part only, but you have to practice a lot. Consider triangle CAD sine theta. What is the formula for sine theta? Opposite side by hypotenuse. What is cos theta? Adjacent by hypotenuse. What is tan theta? Opposite by adjacent. Here theta. What is opposite side? CD. What is hypotenuse? AC. So CD is equal to AC sin theta. Just substitute here. So tan alpha is equal to A C sine theta by O A plus A C cos theta. So tan alpha equal to what is A C? We assumed as Q. All right. We assumed as Q. What O A? We assumed as P Q sine theta. By P plus Q cos theta, but what we want direction alpha indicates the direction. So tan inverse Q sine theta by P plus Q cos theta. This is all about the magnitude and direction related to parallelogram law. If you like my video, like it, share it, subscribe it. Stay with my channel to receive the other important short answer questions of chapter 4 motion in plane. Thank you.